Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Lots going on tonight. Welcome back, man. ESMR Hour is now live and in charge. Getting it popping on a Friday night, man. Thanks for being here. Thanks for rocking with your boy. Lots of music coming tonight. I, uh, I've i been rocking with that app, Threads, the uh, the Instagram offshoot, and uh, got some... Put a little post out there saying about some new music, and I got some I got some great submissions up out of there, so we'll be reviewing those tonight, man. Also going to be talking about the the, the enormous letdown that is uh, our brother Jermaine Cole. I got a lot to say about that, but we'll get into that as the show progresses here. Going to get things kicked off right tonight, my man Panda Bass. Big shouts to Panda, Enigma Trick, Noetic the Poetic, uh, Flan Don, all them dudes, the Burritos. Uh, big shouts to homies out there. They got a couple joints they sent me tonight. We'll be playing those. We're going to start with Mac the Don and Panda Bass right here. This is Living Life. Definitely got them uh, uh, late night drive vibes to it, you know. Uh, uh, kind of, kind of slick, kind of, kind of player, kind of sound in homie's voice, you know. I like the slow flow. Definitely has an early '90s uh, 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 creeping through your block, South Side of Chicago kind of feel, or or a West Coast kind of kind of. Uh, uh, Axe Madwick's in the bill. What's up with you, my fam? Or it's kind of like the late night sliding down your block kind of sound. Oh, I'm glad you told me that, bro. I didn't even realize it wasn't playing. <laughs> Sorry about that. You're like, bro, we don't know what's happening right now. Let me see. Where is it? There it is. Sorry about that. Let me see if it plays out loud now. No, no. Let's see. We should be, we should be popping now. Let's do this real quick. Appreciate you putting me on game, X. Perfect timing, what I focus on refining is the one doing the rhyming, treating beats like they were college, man, you know that I can't call it, I just All right, all right, all right, we gonna run this back, appreciate you, Axe, I'm out here, I'm out here on some goofy, talking about something y'all can't even hear, my bad fam, we got it locked in right now, we gonna run this from the top, living life, Mac the Don, Panda Bass. The blood burning, got me leaning while I'm scheming, street dreaming, hundred. It's got a Nate dog sound a little bit. Yeah, bitches left and right, stacking racks every night, man, I'm just living life. X-Raider, Panda Base Records, what up, dude? Time to wake up, find a way to build my cake up. Trying to find out when this bitch will finally quit the fake up. Come on, baby, what you really got under that makeup? Hit that like button if you just tapping in. What up, dude? Just really trying to fuck, so what's up? You already know how that shit goes when it comes to mind games. I'm a pro when you decide, just let me know for the meanwhile. I'm going go and stay focused on the cash Cause bitches coming past Stay slamming on the gas with the pedal and the grass Success is my objective Shit but sex It's very chill, the rhymes are very clean It sounds a little amateurish This don't sound like a dude that raps a lot This sounds like a dude that he comes to a party and Or, or like the dude that when you're shooting hoops He's walking past, hey man let me get a shot up You know he said, this don't sound like a dude that stays in the studio a ton But the flow is actually pretty easy And he's not really struggling So he can kind of rap it's got kind of a, a little little bit choppy, says Axe. I don't disagree, but it's not bad. It, it sounds, like I said, it's got an amateur quality to it, but it's also like he knows he's just trying to have a good time. He's not out here trying to be Mr. Lyrically, uh, 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 you know, super ambitious on that, on that route. 
is a close second. I'm a grind until that like button. You just logging in with us, though. What I focus on refining is the one doing the rhyming, treating me. <laughs> That I just keep the vessel polished while I'm building up the knowledge. People thinking I've been wild, man. You know they stay profiling. If they really had a clue what half of the shit that we've been through, then they quit tripping on the group. But it's who cool. the blunt's burning got me leaning while I'm scheming, street dreaming, hundred. Yeah, it's, it's, this is kind of slide music. You know what I mean? It's like you don't expect the kind of dudes on this song to really have a super lyrical background or be or be crazy impactful. It's also very uh, melatonin, you know, or excuse me, monotone. It's very just like. Mm, all the way through it kind of has a straight line sound to it so it's definitely you know it's definitely not going to be your your super exciting song but it's a chill vibe you put this on at a kickback put this on driving home from work just to give you a good couple minutes of enjoyment dollar bills that's all i'm seeing yeah bitches left and right stacking racks every night man i'm just living life yeah, it's a cool vibe, man. The blunt's burning, got me leaning while I'm skiing and street dreaming. Definitely yeah. something you could ride the block to, for yeah. sure. Just left it for right sure. Racks every night, man, I'm just living life. Living life, baby. Built the fame up. Everywhere I go, I hear my name, cuz. Bitches fake the funk, but I ain't no punk. It's all a game, son. You know, I play it slick. With it almost has a loonies. I got five on it, minus the whininess. You know, it's got that that kind of delivery that sounds like a, a young, young person just, just kind of riding. You know what I mean? Not trying to do too much. I like the vibe you set up on this, though. That thing sitting on my hip, and it's just begging me to rip the track. It's facts. Fucked it up from front to back while piling up these hundred sacks. If you can't keep up the face and get the fuck up out my face. Heard they said this life is truly meant for living, but I'm really trying to kill it. Having fun while I'm up in it. Panda base has got its lace with me so Hard, they shake the place like my kicks and blunts they lace. That right there, Matt the Don, Panda Bass. I like that, man. Definitely a chill vibe. You know, riding riding down the street, kicking it with the homies. I think I think young dudes will like this song a lot. It feels like a song I would put on when I was hanging out with the homies, playing some video games or something. Definitely could be a good choice for somebody who's streaming. You know, if you're streaming video games, that might be a cool song to put on. I like the delivery because it was kind of straightforward. He didn't try to do too much. See, if you, don't, if you know you're not a professional or you don't get on the mic all the time, don't get on the mic and try to go crazy. Just get on the mic and try to do your thing. Don't go nuts. We're going to be talking about the J. Cole thing in in, in, in just a little while. Uh, so the Panda Bass joint starting off the night, man. I'm going to go 83 on that one. Living life, Mac the Don, Panda Bass. Good vibes. Very chill. The flow was straightforward. But it was nice, man. It was it was kind of cozy, kind of chill. It almost had that that uh, that brandy in your system on a cold day kind of feel to it. Also had a summer night kind of chill vibe. It had a lot of, a lot of different uses, I feel like, for that kind of music. I didn't mind it at all. Let's get into this next one right here is Neo Nazy. To the top, this one has SOS and S Grizzly on this joint. Let's check it out. And when we get into the J. Cole thing, man, I'm, I'm going to try to be balanced, all right? I'm going to do my best to be balanced. I don't want to be like one of these people. I kind of went crazy when I first saw what he did. I was like, this is garbage. You cannot represent yourself as an upper echelon member of hip-hop anymore. That's how I felt. When I first saw it, I was like, this is this is the biggest cardinal sin you could commit. I had a few more days to think about it, and I'm kind of I'm kind of coming around on a couple things. I'm gonna tell you what I loved about it and what I hated about it coming up here shortly. Let's get into Neo Nazy right here to the top. SOS and S Grizzly on the joint. Nazy, that's nasty. I was angry, bro. Angry, angry. I'm a hustle to the top, nigga. I'm on hustle till I die, always working on my reach Man, I come from the trenches, so the money make me leave I don't push any words hopeless, I got faith in what I'll be I hate people say I lose, I'll be like, fuck it, I'm gon' win Yeah, quickly with no time, I'll be flowing on the beat I believe that I messed up, so I ain't staying six feet Niggas under rape me, they ain't never comprehend the king Man, I rape myself, why they think it ain't stopping me? So I'm not really loving uh I'm not really loving the uh his vocal. His vocal doesn't sound clear. He's got a lot of auto tune over the top of it and and it didn't really find its way through the mix as as brightly as I as I would have uh as I would have liked it to. Um so I don't love that. Fina boss up in a minute. I'm a hustle till I get it. This my one way ticket to the mansion and the bank to get it. On top of the world, I'm the one super fly, nigga. I know why I'm here, reason why I won't fall off, nigga. Jim chases, I ain't. It's kind of a vibe though. It's kind of a vibe though. Just stay balling. Oh yeah, busy letting this fussy I ain't rolling. Tryna elevate up this mountain I ain't falling. 
I don't know about bringing all those racing sounds through. That was kind of childish to me. I don't want to hear a bunch of... I don't want to hear that, man. If you want to do it one time to signify the fact that you have a fast car, I'm cool with that. But don't don't give me 15 race car sounds. We're not, we're not children. I don't like that. I don't tend to a beat. Going crazy, I see on the beat. I'm him, they know I'm supreme. They give me one, see what I bring. I've been coming, young nigga, running. I'm a hot shit, I'm untouchable. I stay focused on the go. I got style, yeah, I got a glow. All I be doing is mad, I flow. When I first start, I'm so we going. I'm head for weight like Mike, I'm God. You talk about money with friends, right on. You call me for nine, I'm dropping my phone. Yeah, yeah. I still see like that, yeah, I gotta get the money. They be saying, Grizzly, man, we love you, keep on rhyming. I'm a red. We're gonna move on from that one right there. A Neo Nays, the SOS, and S Grizzly to the top. Uh, I didn't love the overuse of auto tune on this, man. I felt like it drowned you out because it wasn't balanced. You had a heavy bass on the beat, which is kind of pounding, and then you got this really watery, kind of almost washed out vocal. I didn't love it, and it felt like it was over auto tuned and overdressed up too much with the. Um with the auto tune, it was just too much. It was too muddy. You know, it was like it was like early future. I didn't like early future because I thought the auto tune treatment was just horrible. That's actually why a lot of people like this. So maybe I'm not the right voice on this, but this was okay to me. I don't know if I listen to it again. I'm gonna go uh, 80 on that. I noticed that too. I thought it was something in my headphones uh, axe with the panning. I noticed that as well, and I was like, "What is? I didn't, I didn't know what was happening. I I tried to fix it on my side. I don't think it was in my. I don't think it was in my system though." Um. Yeah, so so Panda, you gotta tell me why you were surprised with my reaction. You you thought I would be cool with a dude apologizing? No, <laughs> no, I'm not okay with that. Uh, so so we gonna talk about it, man. Um, oh, I got so much to say. I don't even know where to start. Let's let's start by playing the actual audio because it was important to me to go watch the whole thing. You know, you can't just. In this society today, everything is a, a, a five minute, a five second clip, a 20 second clip, a minute, a 90 second clip. You got to get context nowadays. So it's important to go actually watch and see what was said. So in the spirit of that right there, let's go watch this and then let, let, let's break it down from there. Excuse me. Also, drop your scores for the nasy joint that we just that checked it. out. Everyone SOS knows. and S Grizzly on that one. I brought all these kids a bunch of to the top. I know what I'm doing. A debit card with cash back. Discover cash back debit. J. Cole, everybody. So I'm so proud of that project, except for one part. It's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life. Hit that like button, you're just joining us. And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, no, I don't do that. But I got to keep it 100 with you. Man, you stupid, right? bro. I damn near had a relapse, right? Because y'all heard some shit. That so I was curious about this. Nobody talked about this. But he said I almost had a relapse. He said I almost had a relapse. What does that mean? I need context around that because I thought that was a super weird phrasing for what he's talking about. What were you relapsing on? Relapsing on bad habits? Relapsing on heroin? I need to understand exactly what we're relapsing on. Because y'all heard some shit that happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game, right? So all of this time of me moving on my own accord, for the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world and I got my niggas like, what you gonna do, Cole? <laughs> my niggas like, bit boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh my fucking God. Text flooded, I couldn't even answer my shit. Nigga, it's war time, boom, 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 right? Niggas want to see blood. And, and I was conflicted because, one, I know my heart, you know what I mean? And, like, I know how I feel about my peers, these two niggas that I've just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? So I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way. But the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was, that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my nigga back and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel, that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I wanna say right here tonight, 
is in the midst of me doing that and, and in that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking microphone? Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? As do I. So I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it make, I say all that to say it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path because I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Past two days felt terrible. Like, it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. So all of that to say, man, I want to I wanna now perform. Okay, I let that rock probably longer than I should have. I'm going to just go into it real quick. I'm going to get back to the music. I don't want to get too sidetracked on this. I, we'll talk about it throughout the show. But first and foremost, this is probably the corniest shit I've ever seen a rapper I respect do. And I've seen some rappers do some corny things, okay? You, I, I mean, I, I've seen some corny. The hip-hop has had its share of clown balls. But for somebody who's so high up on the ladder to, to pillow talk, this is a conversation for a therapist or for your wife. This is a conversation for a therapist or for your wife. You are in the business of selling tickets. You are in the business of making money. I get that you connect with your fans on a different, a different uh, 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 feeling, a different wavelength. I get that, my boy. I do. And I respect what you do as an MC, man. But this has always been a competitive sport. You knew that every time you got on a track talking about, I'm killing this dude, I'm killing that dude, you can't get on my level. You can't do this. It is, it is immoral from a hip-hop purist. I'm not a hip-hop purist either, but I'm a dude who appreciates the sport and the art of it. And if somebody, when I tell my kids, if somebody lays their hands on you, you lay hands back on them harder, okay? So he took a shot at you, and he's been saying for years, I listened to the control verse on my way to, to doing this. I, I went to the gym, and then I came home, and control came on my uh, Pandora because, you know, they hear everything we say, so they know I've been talking about this. And Kendrick told you, he named you first. He said, y'all know what time it is. That goes for Jermaine Cole. He swung at you a long time ago, my boy. Why are you apologizing for swinging back, man? This is the type of stuff that makes people feel bad for, for kids that never learn how to fight. Bullies need to exist. So, so let, me tell you, let me tell you what I love this for. Let me tell you what I love this for. I love this for, for J. Cole's mental health. I love it for that. Good for you, bro. Protect your spirit. Protect, protect your well-being. I respect that a lot. I love this for being comfortable in changing your mind. I love it for that. I love it for being able to apologize. I also love it for bullying because Kendrick bullied you, bro. It's bully ball he's playing right now. This dude is backing you down in the paint like Zach, Ra Zach Randolph back in the day, like Shaq, and you just taking it, and, and it's not okay. Now, I hate it for hip-hop. Hip-hop deserves better, man. You're talking about letting Nas down. You let all the hip-hop down because you can... You can have a beef with somebody and carry it out peacefully. You, you could have dropped the disses, let the disses go, and then did an interview saying, well, you know, it should never come to violence because it's not about that. You don't have to backpedal. You could just say, I want to have peace. This is my guy, but he's been throwing shots at me, so it's on. Period. Everybody's going to respect that. Any real man's going to respect that. I shouldn't say real man. That's, a, that's iffy. But any man is going to respect when you look him in the eye and say, don't put your hands on me, man. That's what you're supposed to do. So, so this right here is why they hate millennials and why they hate Gen Z. Because you can't, this kind of stuff is soft. I, I come from, I'm an I'm a old millennial. My brother's Gen X, so he's angry as hell. Hey, look, don't be, this is soft, man. I respect you for protecting your peace and, and more power to you. But I wish you would have done it differently because this was gross. This was gross. If a man puts his hands on you in rap battles or in real life, you are to retaliate. All right, I'm going to move on, man, because I just – I could sit here all night and talk about why that made me angry. But, uh, but, I, feel like, but I, feel like I, uh, I feel like I did enough there. Let's move on with the next song of the night. Let me know what y'all thought about the – and I see a lot of people saying, you know, um, beef like this is – it can turn into something real. It can turn a friend to a real enemy. 
I don't know, man. I seen rappers shoot at each other and be friends. The game and 50 Cent shot at each other. They're not friends, but they're not beefing. Nas and Jay-Z had real t palpable, tangible dudes almost got stabbed kind of beef. I mean, like, it, 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 you know, you, your worst case scenario. I don't know what it's like to be looked at by millions of people. I know I have a family that looks up to me and some other people in my community, and that's it. So I can't I can't speak to the level of star that J. Cole is. And I, and I, and I guess I, I probably should have prefaced the whole conversation with that point right there. I don't know what it's like to be a star on that level. But what I do know is if somebody puts their hands on you, you're supposed to retaliate. You don't let nobody bully you. That was bully ball. And him saying, I'll take it on the chin. Now Kendrick look, looks bad if he responds. Because if you respond to a dude that's like, please don't hit me, are you really going to hit him? What's the point? So so it, it, it's so in, it just lets down. Hip-hop deserved that, man. Hip-hop deserved the three. Three Titan rappers go at it lyrically. Hip-hop needed that. That, that would have helped the game, and, and you chose to go another route. Keep Hakeem featuring Ammo right here, day and night. Directed by 120. Let's go. Keep yeah, okay. yeah, what, yeah, what, what, yeah. The Metro track was weaker. Night, night. You call my phone to count my money. Fuck me, bitch, don't love me. Guys, what up, I got you, Fuck you day and night, a demon in the night. I took your whole Don't make me take your life. Go ahead and get on your knees. Look at my. This has a uh, uh, like a uh, a darker juice world. Tio, what up though? This has a darker juice world feel to me. I don't really like the pace. It's a little too slow for me. I'm not really in it. It's a four-minute song. I don't think we're getting through all four minutes. It's not bad, though. He has that kind of drowned out, drugged out kind of sound, but he's also like trippy reddish where it has like a metal kind of feel to it as well. It's not bad. It's not for me, but it's not bad. I keep begging to me. She fucking on me because I sing. How long I've been running these streets. Running these streets. Call me Bobby. <laughs> Little bitch, she a leash when she sucking on me. She keep on begging, don't stop till she please. Mommy crazy, she really takes me. This shit gonna creep to the back to the streets. Give her what she ordered. Hey, rappers, we gotta do better. This verse is hot trash, man. We gotta do better. Let's, I'm, gonna I'm gonna rewind this verse just so we can hear that it's not good. We gotta do better on our verses, man. You, you, this sound like kindergarten rap right here. I don't like this. Got what you need, she don't wanna leave. She call me Bobby. The first thing she call me poppy. That don't that don't sound great. A hey, boogie with the hoodie feels. The, the good point, Tio. Yeah, huh, huh. Little bitch, she when she sucking on me. She keep on begging, don't stop till she please. Mommy crazy, she really thinks me. Your flow is choppy. It's not smooth. I don't know if you freestyled this, but this sounds like this sounds like. I don't even know how to explain it other than it sounds like 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 slow folk rap. It sounds like somebody who don't have all of their capacities, you know? This shit gonna creep to the back to the street. Got you, x rated Get in the wall like she cross on the border. She said I'm a dry, so bitch, I'm a floor it. Yeah, she just creep from the crop. I'm being corny. Bad bitch, she foreign. She you said I'm being corny on the this is garbage. I can't get through this verse. We're gonna fast forward. This that verse is hot trash, man. Fuck her, she worship the devil. Fuck her too long to your made up. Got what you need. Molly in the lane. She drinking. I mean, if I'm a drugged out 16 year old, this is probably good. That rapping though, get that guy. I no disrespect, man, but that verse, Ammo, I don't know if that was you on that verse, but you gotta step your pin game up. That 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 did not help the song. Um don't make me take your life. There's some melodicness to the singing. The, the vocal on this isn't terrible. I just don't like it because it's. <laughs> I'm not into that whole, you know, um, scratchy, screamo rap type. That's not really my thing. But I also see that there's some positives to it where it could probably get picked up by these young, goofy, drugged out kids. So not a not not a terrible song. There's no way in hell that song should be four minutes though. That that's ridiculous. Like no, no one's listening to four minutes to that. This song should be two forty three exactly where I stopped it at. And you got to take the feature off. I'm gonna go seventy five on that. Seventy two to seventy five. That's not a very good song in my opinion. 
I think the the bones of it with the hook and everything isn't bad. There's some melodicness to it. There's some nice vocal intonation on that that's not terrible. But outside of that, that rapping was kindergarten cat in the hat stuff. I didn't like that. Let's keep things rolling. We're getting into the super duper chats early in the night. Hit that like button if you're just joining us. If you're waiting to get a song played, a dollar or two, we'll get you through on the super chat. I don't tax, but we got to differentiate out in this place, and that's what we do. Like I said, hit that like button if you're just joining us. I'm out here fighting for the respect of other uh, live streamers and YouTubers as well. So we got the homie X Raider on deck, FF up here right now. Let's get my man FF on the screen real brief. Like, uh, big shouts to FF. Also, big shouts to Michael Tropic. Uh, we had two uh, first listens recently. So uh, first listens are where we do album premieres. We premiere your project right here on the show, front to back. You get feedback from me in the community. Um, so we had FF last week with the rim tape, sleepy time vibes, really dope background kind of noise, study kind of stuff, riding in a car, late night, smoke music. I enjoyed it a lot. And the week before that, we had Michael Tropic with some EDM house kind of kind of trance stuff. It was a great time on both accounts. I usually don't do as much instrumental type stuff here, but we just uh, accommodate the community. So I got a slot open next week. If you're waiting to get uh, you got a new project drop and you want to have it premiere here, let me know. We can work on that for now. Let's get to my man FF Felix from 6'5". This is needed. D minor, 160 BPM. Bank season. Shouts to homie Rich Banks. GV, what up, boy? It's crazy and out of pocket. Yeah, go check out that project, T.O. It's got like an Afro Beats kind of vibe to it. It sounds like a Drake and Jack Hill joint, or Jack Harlow. Churchill Downs type beat. I like this, man. I think I think Drake about his joint, man. I think Drake about his joint. I think you could sell this to OVO, man. It's got a real, it's got a real Afro beats kind of, kind of, kind of backdrop to it. I like it, man. This is dope. Did you give this to Rich Banks already, FF? Crunchy. I like that vernacular right there. I think you gotta find a vocalist for this one. This one needs a vocalist. This needs a vocalist right here. You got somebody with a nice tone, nice kind of soft, velvety layer on it. Ooh, this would sound real good, man. Hey, this is a slap right here, though. Shouts to my boy FF the GOAT, super producer. I'm going 95 on this one easy, man. This is lovely. Hey, well, hey, well. Let me let me go ahead and uh, download this to the phone. I might do some work on this one. Also, real quick, I just I just want to drop some love on my man FF. If if you're looking for beats, reasonably priced. Um, he's easy to get in contact with. He listens. He can cook you up some stuff if you got some some special requests. Only thing I know he would want me to tell you is you got to rap hard on his stuff. Don't come with no garbage, man. Hey, FF, you got to start taking payment plans, my boy. You got to start taking payment plans, my boy. You know what I'm talking about? Installments. That's my man FF, a dollar two gets you through. What up, though, Swish? Always, always love when Swish is in the building. That's my man FF right there, needed D minor 160 BPM. I like that beat, man. I got to find, if I, if I buy that, I'm finding me somebody from the Caribbean that can sing on that, a Rihanna type, a Tyler type. 
I need me an island girl on that one right there. Big shouts to my FF, man. Super producer. Go check out the rim tape if you haven't. It's, it's, it's worth your time, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, chosen of all ages. All right, X Raider, where's your song, man? Just, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. I found her. I found her. You got me downloading stuff from a OneDrive? What, what is happening, man? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wasn't ready there. All right, let's get X Raider up on the screen. My man hit the super duper, the duper. Appreciate you. X Raider just dropped some new music, too. What was the name of that joint? Uh, Attention Deficit. What was it, X Raider? Help me out. Something like that. Attention, attention Deficit something. Let's get to this joint right here Terps and Diamond, our man, X Raider. Short attention span is what it was, I think. Let's get it. Went from straight edge to pothead to smoking. Highland? 15 grams an ounce before we bounce from the dispensary. Hike is draft ass, the laughs had make me slap a knee. Got to take a trip with no whip, just as gasoline. So pass the weed like them widow whites. We stuff and blunts till we high as kites. That sticky, icky, icky got me tickly on some giggly nights. So tell me why you trippy, cause I'm popping. Congrats on the puppy, bro. Like I'm Eddie Haskell, rascal like I'm dizzy. Keep them busy, pop. Like Appreciate you, double up. Silly, cause how is he packing feelings? Fatter than the tips on Billy Eilish. Show how we can't lift the Rylas. Hit him with my gift of violence. True to false with art like Simon. This is like grimy, bro. It feels dirty. It feels like a 1980s basement. I feel like this could have been on the uh, soundtrack of Stranger Things when a demigorgon was trying to was trying to rummage through somebody's organs. I like this. I got to tell you, though, honestly, I'm really vibing with it. I'm not catching you lyrically because I'm coming in and out. The vibe is heavy, though. If you were on some sort of hallucinogen to this, you'd be having a great time. Back in silly, cause how is he? Back in Philly's fatter than the tits on Billy Eilish. Show how we can't lift the Rylas. Hit him with my gift of violence. True to false with art like Simon Peck. So loud, no sound of silence. Eyes wide shut and shining, hitting dabs of turps and diamonds in the lab with purple Hawaiian. Gotta grab the work to buy in this pack, but so just try it. Got some hash, go brick, no mining, make a dash, we hear those sirens. Man, relax, move loud but quiet. Eyes wide shut and shining, hitting dabs of turps and diamonds in the lab with purple Hawaiian. Gotta grab the work they're buying. Man, this packs of so just try it. I like this one, X Raider. Make a dash, we hear those sirens. Man, relax, move loud but quiet. Let's flash back to that 90, getting faded in my mind state. Cop it and slide off, don't hang around like a prime. Made from piracy to primacy and poesy to promotion. Turn my blue dream to that new cream, my horizon like the ocean. Cause commotion when we crack the pack and smoke hit like smack and crack. Heads back in action, relax the nation, stay salty. We crack a lack in your day, my crack a lack in what? Stay hungry and I back my facts. Uh, Wait down, but can't stack my cash. Uh, Wait now as I smash the stack. Like walk to a flame, drop hat to the map. We're flamed to the piff and I puff till I lift. Luck is a myth, grind hard for the gift. Jack trip through bitches for the paradise. I do think you're you're getting to you were riding the beat real easy. Your delivery was real smooth and chill, and you're you're picking up the timing and the pace on the back part of the song, and I don't like it. It's almost becoming too intense because it was super. It's a super easy head nod, and I think you disturb that a little bit when you start rapping fast, and you're really just doing it for for rapping fast sake. I would almost say put a feature because this beat is so unique. Almost any rapper with you on this is going to sound good. Like, this is almost hard to mess up because the beat is so intense and it has so much uh, character to it. You just rapping triple time on the end of it, I feel like it could have been better served to have a feature. Facts, wait down, but can't stack my cash. Wait now as I smash the stack. Like walk to a flame, drop hat to the map. We're flamed to the Booty G, what up, bruh? Fuck is a myth, grind hard for the gift. Jack trip through bitches for the paradigm shift. Heal your shit and I have to laugh. You kick pre-game this aftermath. My flow burn like pistol hit or a barrel blast when that pistol hit. Eyes wide, shut and shine. Hitting dabs and turps and diamonds. In the lab with purple wine. Gotta grab the work they're buying. Man, this pack. Oh. I thought that was you on the second part. Okay. Make a dash, we hear those sirens. Relax, move out, but quiet. Eyes wide. Well, I stand corrected. I don't. I don't know that he really added nothing to the track. Cause I liked your verse. I I, I thought that was you. Cause I know you can rap fast as well. So I so I didn't realize that was a whole different artist. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I was wrong. I, I don't know. It didn't really compliment the track as well as it should have. But your verse is cracking. I shot and shot and hitting dabs and turps and diamonds in the lab with purple wire. Gotta grab the work they're buying. Man, this pack is so just try it. Got some hash, go brick, no mining. Make a dash if we hear those sirens. Man, relax, move loud but quiet. That's a fun song though. 
Big shouts to the homie right there. That is our man X Raider. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that track though. I just thought, yeah, the second verse was a little heavy handed lyrically. It's like, bro, sometimes I get so sick of people that just get on the mic and rap fast. Like, bro, no one cares, man. If the song isn't popping, you rapping fast ain't making the song no better. I like that one though. I'm gonna go 88 X Raider. That was fun, energetic. I thought you had a fantastic hook. You got those breathy hooks that you do that are really, really enjoyable. They make you feel. They have a drugged out appeal to them and. Not that I'm a druggie by any way, shape, or form, but it, it was it was it was enjoyable. Let's get into this next one. I believe Shay Left is next on the super chat. You guys do sound close. I'm, I'm glad it's not just me because I'm like I can normally tell folks apart pretty easily. Uh, so we got Shay Left coming up right here. She's new to the stream. Welcome, Shay. Nice to have you. Uh, hope you're enjoying everything so far. I, I don't I don't hate fast rappers. I just don't rap fast for no reason. If it doesn't actually improve the track. Like, I can't listen to guys. Like, I think Tech 9 is remarkable. I can't listen to a full Tech 9 song. I just got into Joyner Lucas. Because even Joyner Lucas raps fast sometimes, and I'm just like, bro, you don't have to do this. Like, it's not, if you're not, if it doesn't really lift up the track, I don't get the point of it. I think some people just do it. Like, Eminem got into that whole thing where you just rapping fast because, like, you think it's cool. Like, I don't know. I'd rather hear good content and clever bars than just a person going 90 miles an hour. Let's get into this one from the homie Shay Left. This is Backwoods. Oh, Mary Jane. Come take a ride with me. Mary Jane. Come take a ride. What's that sound? It's the waves. Finish one for a tap in. What we gon' do, what we gon' do, what we gon' do, what we gon' do. Break that shit down. Time to light it up. Let's get high. Let's ride, let's ride. My leaf's on the dashboard. Give me the Russian flavor to fill my lungs. My boy asked me why did I smoke three, but he didn't see that I had one more. I sculpted right like a part of Like the size of my Glock and your chokehold. So I figured out where the figures out. What I've all been no employer. Flip a dub into at least 20 more. 20 more, 20 more. Don't blow my high. This sounds unique. I I I'm really for the things that sound different. This doesn't sound like I can't really put I can't really put a a, a finger on who she sounds like, but it's enjoyable. It's got this different kind of cadence to it. It's like but I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of splashy. It's exciting. No, it's the only time that I love to choke. I keep a sample when I travel, cause I'ma go where it's not legal. I call that plug, that nigga pull up no fee with my prescription. Backwoods on the dashboard, dollar bill folded backwards. What we gon' do, what we gon' do, what we gon' do, what we gon' do. Break that shit down. Time to lift me up. Let's get high. Let's ride, let's ride. Driving late back through traffic, trying to finish one before I tap in. What we gon' do, what we gon' do, what we gon' do. Um, Shay, it's an artist. Her name is Norkin, or she goes by Norhova. N O R H O V A. Find her on TikTok. I think y'all would make some dope music. Her sound is similar to yours. I think y'all would be a very great pairing. She makes this kind of funky. Kind of, kind of smoked out, almost like when you walk through the bead door. This feels like bead door music. If you know, you know. But it feels like bead door music, and I like it. West Indian vibe. Shouts to Rudy. Dropping off the music knowledge. Welcome, Rudy. Tell him what the fuck I'm going on. Who going dumb dumb? Blueberry yum yum. Smoking on that wet. Okay. You marry someone. Marathon OG had us. Okay. Run, run. And we don't smoke the paper. Oh, 
dog trainer. Bill, had to stick my nose in it like a dog trainer. This is a good song, man. Shout out to Shay. Welcome, man. Let's get high. high, high. Let's ride. Let's ride. And drive lane back through traffic. Oh, Trying to finish oh, one before I tap in. What we gon' do? 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 Break that shit down. Time to light it up. Let's get high. high, high. Let's ride. Let's ride. Let's ride. That's a dope song right there. That's the homie Shay Left Backwards. What we gonna do? What we gonna do? What we gonna do? I like that, man. Definitely more of an old school feel to it. Sounds funky, man. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like some some early Goody Mob type stuff. Uh, I, I really like the feature on that, too. It, it really amplified the track. We're talking about the feature X-Raider had. Not that it was a bad one. It just didn't really boost the track. But this feature right here took the track up. Definitely a new kind of sound that I or it's an old school sound, but I don't hear it anymore. Like I don't know who to compare that to in, in the current game. But I like it, man. I think it's it, it's a breath of fresh air, even though you're smoking backwards. Uh but I liked it. I liked it a lot. I'm going 90 on that, man. Drop the scores right there. Shay left. Welcome hurt to the community. They like the hook. UGK kind of vibes, smoke dizzy kind of vibes. Everyone is digging in Shay. Drop your scores for the homie so she knows exactly how you feel and she can take that with her. And uh, hopefully you subscribe to the channel and send us more music, Shay, because I love it. That, that was dope, man. That was a good time. Let's get into this next one off the Super Duper. Swish hit the joint, so you know we got to honor the boy. Big shout out to the homie Swish. Ain't seen him in a minute. Glad to have you back, he said in the email. Been a minute. Yeah, it has. Glad to have you back, my brother. Let's see what you cooked up for the gang here tonight. This is our homie Swish. DJ Free. Yeah. How can I repay any one of the moments? You pick me up every time when I was at my lowest. I'm still a family guy with the great scores for shape. I think it's time to blossom. I just want a cop the lotus. Sitting by the beach side, sipping drinks and tea. I think it's time to blossom. I just got to cop the lotus. I ain't mad about that. Let's bring it back one time for the homie Swish. DJ. Greater than good. What is good? Yeah. Look at this beat, man. It's crazy. How can I repay any one of the moments? You pick me up every time when I was at my lowest. I'm still a family guy with the without my lowest. I think it's time to blossom. I just want a cup of lotus. Sitting by the beach side, sipping drinks and TJ. Got a little buzz now. I want a She hit me, then I reply. Maybe you know where we stay. Lifted like them trucks, but I ain't have no GB. It really be them simple things. Simple man, simple dream. I just want to have the world a pretty girl and 50 rings. And if the time comes, I see the other side. Well, I could truly say that I lived a blessed life. Why does this sound like audio Alice in Wonderland right here? This feels like an acid trip or something. This, this, you and X Ray need to make a song. This sounds a little trippy. I'm digging this, man. How the fuck do I? Okay, I got it. I got it. Yeah. True to my word, I have found a little bird. Then I taught it how to fly. Now I wait for its return. If you love it, let it go. Give it a map so it can know where to migrate. When winners get a little too cold, I done woke up and found I was a little too old. I'm not a kid. I don't know the path to Neverland Road, but I can tell you if you see it. Do y'all know Little Brother? You this reminds me of some Little Brother would do, bro. The the, the, the beat is like Ninth Wonder esque. And did you do this beat switch? Cause that's nuts. And then you rap it. I don't know if you know Little Brother, but this is very Little Brother like. You best believe it never lasts. I just seen the grass from both sides of the glass. Now how can I relay any one of the notions I had inside my mind right before I had awoken? I wish I had a notepad for the poems I dream of spoken, but instead I wake up empty handed and waiting for my moment. To expect the unexpected. Swish. Swish. I like that, Swish. Because you sound like Little Brother, man. And for the record, Little Brother is ill, dog. Little Brother is crazy, man. For those of you that don't know, um, Drake took a lot of his early style from Lil Brother. Knife, uh, 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 Fonte specifically. Drake took a lot of his early influence from Fonte because Fonte is that guy. Him and Big Pooh, them boys go crazy, man. So, so if I give you a Lil Brother uh, a comparison, that is, yeah, no, that's that's high, that's high praise right there. I like that though. Everything about it, man. Uh, the drums, uh, Panda makes a good a good point. That kick was especially just nice. It was deep. It was like. Doo -doo. 
Um, yeah, I'll drop the link for y'all right there, man. I liked it a lot. I'm gonna go. Uh, I think I'm gonna go 93 on that joint, man. Maybe 94. Hey, only only reason I'm not a little higher on that one is because I don't think I would play it all the time. But it's definitely enjoyable. Yeah, 90 plus the homie Axe. Drop your scores right there for our man Swish. I think we got through the super chat, and then I stand uh, very very corrected because Fatal Dose just said, hold on, player. Hold my beer. Uh, all right, so they want the moon. you want the Moon Rocks joint and then your joint. I got you. It's not a problem. I appreciate you hitting the super chat. You want to wait all day listening to me talk. I respect that. I respect it. Let me see. Uh, Where we at? Where we at? Where's the... Um, hmm. You said uh you said play the Moon Rocks joint. The Moon Rocks joint. I got two from Moon Rocks. Uh I, I'm gonna play this one first. You guys can tell me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm incorrect. Let's see. This uh, nope, that's not that's the same link. That's a failure. Alright, this one here is PG thirteen part one. I'm gonna play that. Is that accurate? Is that what y'all want? If, tell me and I'll switch it out if it's incorrect. I, I, PG-13. I got too many faces. Moon Rock. Some faces. I want some face. I want some face. We go to many places. I can't explain joint. it. I want that face. I want that face. All right, I'll go to the rumors joint after this one. Rumors. Okay. <laughs> Y'all like must that. have forgot I'm not the one who needs a middleman to say the shit I want to say because Hunter doesn't think he can. Because Hunter's too emotional to say he doesn't have a plan, but Hunter has a problem he can only solve with other men. So a couple days go by and they decide that they should probably meet to talk about what they all need to do just to deal with me and they decide the best move is the weakest link takes the lead and hunter doesn't mind all right all right all right y'all all right so rumors rumors start with rumors what is the rumors i got i got a uh, seven minute drill with, with with proficient profit on it is that the one we're talking about because you guys aren't giving me song names you're just saying start with rumors 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 oh i see oh okay so am i playing this one first let me see this is confusing fellas no that's the one i just played that you guys yelled at me for all right so which one is it man all right, we're just going to keep playing this one. Because Hunter only wants his brothers, please. So Hunter says, guys, Eric's really mean. I'm not even upset. I'm just mad that he don't fuck with me. Like, how could you ignore me when you know my girlfriend tried to cheat? I bought the bitch a house just to make sure that she couldn't leave. Oh, so that's why you've been making scenes And since we on the topic, how'd your girlfriend and you really meet? Cause from my understanding, that bitch 19 and you 23 So when y'all met in high school, you was old enough to fucking teach Fucking pedophile, you don't get to fucking speak to me I'm the one who gave y'all half the tracks that made you anything Matter of fact, tell your family and your bitch that's streaming me That they can have an autograph when you get out your feelings beat And maybe when you- Nah, I'm just playing, I'm done you know what's crazy about all of this is I know his boys are going to be listening to this fucking agreeing with me. Like, you guys are going to have to have another meeting or some shit. I don't know. I'm going to go watch my TV show. So, uh, bye. So, so y'all got beef, I guess, but the only problem with it is I don't understand the beef. I mean, it sounds like there's a chick involved. I don't know if it's a real beef. So, so, so I'm not really fully understanding what's going on here. It looks like, uh, Fatal and, 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 uh, and, and, Rumors are, are beefing, but I don't know if it's real. It seems like it's jokes. But that one right there was Moon Rock. So I don't know what's going on here. And it looks like I played them out of order, but no one actually told me exactly how to do this. So I'm going to just go to play this next one, um, the Seven Minute Drill Pro Profit Remix. This one has rumors on it. After that, I will play the Fatal Dose Joint because I don't understand what's happening here. Oops, that's not it. One moment, please. Well, that's not there. All right, fellas, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Play the. All right, I'll play. I'll play the other one. I guess he did, he only sent the. So I have one track that's the same track. I have part one. I was sent that one twice. So I don't have another track. You guys keep telling me play the other one, play the other one, but I don't have another one to play. I have two from Moon Rocks that are the same one, and then I have one from Fatal. And that's all I have. And then I was supposed to do one from uh, the seven minute drill joint. Oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Light work. Rumors. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. Light work. Seven minute drill right here. Rumors for fish and profit. Rumors. Yeah. Been known to burn bridges when it comes to fake ass bitches. And for those who act the worst, I never grant forgiveness. Many gamble with my brotherhood like they in Vegas. Well, I hope your broke ass take these knuckles as a payment. Yeah. And it's funny how you up and goes when you start in rows. But we can save that shit for later since it's on the nose. Like your problems with the snow, even when the winter goes. Like your love for that little hoe, even though someone else is down to throw. But fuck it, yeah, down she go. And I didn't wanna start a woe. But then you switched up, so Geronimo, I don't know why you go and run your mouth like you got bitches. Why? Motherfucker, you ain't even got digits. Nah. Acting like you're hard, man, yeah, we get it. Talk about family, then go and beat your uncle senseless. And if I'm being honest, man, you need some critics. Ego got so big, even the planets couldn't fit it. Just admit it. Shay's turn you to a cock hold, Eric. How long it's gonna take you for an upload, Eric? There's a code to the shit that you should uphold, Eric. But you went and broke the shit because you're... I don't think the rest of this is that hard. I'm gonna be honest, but he said it turns you to a cuckold. <laughs> yeah, that that's a, anybody getting called out for being a cuckold on a track. I you, you gonna have to respect that a little bit. You're insecure. You went out broken shit because you're immature. Can't hold a job for long because you're lazy, and I'm sure that you always wish that you could go and be me. Or maybe make a decent song without GV. But go and keep being dollar store G easy. And keep my name out your mouth unless you want to be And then I say let's meet in the middle so we can slug it out But knowing you, you pull up just to hug it out But that's if you have the funds to even go around Better call up that one bitch again and hash it out Sheesh, man, calm it down I should calm it down Yeah, I don't, I don't really I be going wild I don't really think that was the hardest diss Outside of the cuckold line, it, 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 I don't know. It kind of sounded like you were talking to him. and you were, It sounded like you were disappointed. I get that. Why are y'all beefing anyway? We're all broke. I don't understand that. Like, no one here is rich. Let the rich people beef. The broke people need to stick together and be friends. Ain't nobody here got no real money. Uh, but I, I don't really know what to make of that. I, I don't think it was really well executed. I think you were kind of talking too much. You should have actually been rapping a little bit more. It didn't really hit as hard as it should have, except the cuckold line. I, that, that one kind of made me giggle a little bit. Outside of that, I just wish y'all weren't beefing. I don't know if it's real beef or not, but like, make songs together. Let's not, you know, you guys aren't Kendrick and uh, <laughs> and J. Cole, you know? It's like, what are you beefing for? Let's listen to this one right here, Pigs, Fatal Dose. Let's check it out. It sounds like it's over a chick. Don't ever beef over a woman, man. Don't, don't do that. There's too many women. Unless you're married to her. Like, I, I'll die over my wife, but that's that's about as far as it goes, because that's my wife, you know? They're my kids. Okay, it's time to get low, but this ain't pride by syndrome. I'ma bet that your brain is flowing as slow as your rhythm. You heard the rumors, all these pigs are lining up for a killing. So bring them to me, said your piece, so I'll tell you how I'm feeling. I ain't really Respect, for reason, but you know how it goes. These motherfuckers gonna hate the place I'm sticking my nose. All in your business, how's your daughter like the new crib, bro? Wait, it's another youngin' that you're trying to phone. Huh, Hunter is a predator, but who would your rap has got you far away from all the school zones I ain't even gonna be bringing up the fact that you weak You've been gambling with your life, let alone your career That hasn't even Bro, he called you a predator <laughs> And he did it, and he did it kind of nicely He did it in a really smooth way uh, Hunter is a predator, but who would have known I bet your rap has got you far away from all the school zones I ain't even gonna be bringing up the fact that you weak You've been gambling with That's your life, up, let bro. alone your career That hasn't even jump started, you the deadest out here You should know they probably gonna be playing Vegas at your funeral Cause all the shit we making is perfection and beautiful While the shit that you've been dropping is the reason it's mutable I bet my last penny every second you breathe Eric's always been the rapper that you trying to be Begging for the riches that you probably never gonna see The bread is always following no matter where you find me I'm on the go and I've been doing the most to make sure that my nine to five is not the future I know so yes it takes a minute just to build a catalog bro at least there's quality behind the fucking shit that I'm making not recycling the engineering cuz I'm impatient since you broke up with your boyfriend you've been up on our dick trying to be part of something that ain't including you bitch and the man that's in the mirror deserving hell if you wondering I was sent around you up and all the people you fucking with two birds one stone under the covers is probably where you residing with ghoulie cuz you both sucking it's time that you were retired you sound the same that's enough 
it I'm the peacekeeper But you cross the line And I'm here now Join a copycat That probably got you in fear now I just mind my business Till it's time to get loud As far as I remember GB held the shit down But your ego wouldn't let you Get in front of the crowd Let's see how many motherfuckers Wanna come to it now Your feature list is looking Hmm, not too good Burning bridges with the people Who done built you that bitch Ride the next wave Just because your homies are lit Remember dog The Titanic was a beautiful shit I'm the cold that got you shivering And fighting for life And tell your homies don't respond Cause it's the game that I like I'm gone Light work Look The Fatal Dose was the better of the two tracks The, the Fatal track was Was I the, Like You guys should not be beefing we, We're all poor man And the world is about done Let's not beef I, I don't I don't like y'all beefing It doesn't feel right It feels like wasted time if, if we're talking about if we're talking about tracks though, I think the pigs track was better. It just it sounded more like a rap diss. He said the predator line was pretty clear. I I don't think again I don't I, I I've heard music from all you guys. I think you're all talented people. I think there's no reason that if no one's family is threatened, then there's no reason for beef. Now if somebody hits your mom's sister, daughter, aunt, whatever, that I, that's a whole different story. But if y'all if y'all families, if your immediate family, if your well being isn't threatened, it's not really beef. So if y'all wanna make if y'all wanna make this is that's cool and I'll listen to it all day long. I have no problem with that. But uh No, the friendly competition is fun. Um X Rated says it's alright, he didn't like the rhyme gaps. Uh yeah, I mean the, the competition aspect is cool, but my thing is like you guys aren't really making strong disc records, if that's the case. Like, you got to do more research and really get some stuff that'll be swinging. You guys are kind of just stating the obvious. So it sounds like somebody dated a girl that was probably younger than they should have, and there's kind of some predatory stuff there. That's not great. Uh, but outside of that, I didn't really hear any hu- in what somebody supposed they got cuckolded. I-, I don't know. The disses weren't the disses weren't strong enough for me. If y'all going to have disses, diss each other. Like, Really, really go in, you know, like really go crazy. Don't y'all ha- kind of half stepping through it. Uh, they ain't feeling because I lost respect for them after that. Yeah, I don't know. This records aren't strong enough to move me. I guess is where I'm at with it. So, I hope y'all can find some some uh, common ground here at some point because that that seems like wasted time to me. Respect for all y'all. Gl- glad you guys are keeping it on wax. Don't actually fight. Uh, that's that's all I've got for that. Let's. Let's get in this next one. So I want to show you this real quick, and then I'll jump back into the music. We're going to take a little bit of a break. We talked about the J. Cole situation earlier. I went into a lot of detail how I felt about that. I was pretty upset about it. I think he let rap down. I think he let rap fans down. I think he let his fans down. I do like the fact that he protected his mental health, and he did what he had to do as a man, and it takes a lot of guts to do what he did. I don't disrespect it. But for but for hip-hop, for people that are fans of competition and, and the sport of MCing, you know, you guys are dissing each other. Step your disses up. If you're going to diss, First of all, if you're going to just stand on it. So I respect y'all. Y'all already have more more heart than J. Cole does. But if you're going to diss somebody, make the disses hard. Those aren't hard enough, man. Those are some light jabs. You got to really go in and try to dig someone's soul out. I saw this, and I agree with this. The NAIA, which is the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics, which is a small governing body for a lot of small colleges, they represent 83,000 athletes at schools nationwide. They're taking a step where they're not allowing transgender athletes to participate in women's sports. And I got it. And I agree with this, man. Uh, Per the transgender participation policy, all athletes must participate in NAIA sponsored male sports. However, only athletes whose biological sex is female and who have not begun hormone therapy will be allowed to participate in women's sports. I agree with that, man. The male physiology is what it is. And. It's hard to get around that. I don't have any disrespect for trans people. I am I am pro everything as long as you're not hurting nobody else. This is a situation that I do think could eventually lead to serious injuries from for, for women. And when you take away scholarships and you give it to somebody who has a natural advantage because of their physiology, I don't think that's right. No problem with trans folks though. I that that ain't my thing. I don't yeah, hate I don't hate arcade. nobody. Y'all better get But I do feel like we have to protect people. Getting into this next one right here. Sometimes Sino saying something on this one with Maladik. Let's check it out. Yeah. You ain't to get a song played a dollar through. We'll get you through on the C-no, super chat. C-no, C-no. Appreciate everybody rocking with me. And I hit that like button if you haven't done so yet. Sometimes I'm strong. I know that they're strong. Sometimes. Well, well, Garrett, tell me the story sometime, man. I know that I'm wrong. Got my life to live. It's not an excuse. It's just how it is. Look. 
gift and a curse, rest gripping my nerves. Too many intricate words for me to fit in a verse. Why every time I reminisce, it always sits where it hurts. Listen, you tried your best, I guess you live and you learn. Let it ride into the sky and depression, thinking how can I win? With that in mind, I'd rather grind. So I don't really love the um, some of the ad libs you're doing are a little bit too much while you're rapping. I think it's kind of actually distracting a little bit. Listen, you try your best, I guess you live and you learn. Let it ride into the sky and depression, thinking how can I win? With that in mind, I'd rather grind because it's more satisfying. Too many sacrifices made for you to sabotage me. I see you with my pair of eyes and choose a pair of saints. A pair of sailing overlooking ghetto paradise. Sound like that boy from Carolina up in here tonight. You see how much you spent my life, you might be terrified. Writing lyrics after my first time ever hearing now. I know that I ain't there just yet, but I'll be there in time. I'm just trying to share my pain, trying to share my life. They call me Sino, used to catch me with a... This isn't really going anywhere. You talked about, like, paragliding over ghetto paradise or something like that. I, I don't know what that is. So I'm trying to follow you lyrically here, but it's not really leading me. I don't know. Anybody else listening, are you getting any kind of anything from where he, what he's talking about? Writing lyrics after my first time ever hearing now. I know that I ain't there just yet, but I'll be there in time. I'm just trying to share my pain, trying to share my life. They call me Sino, used to catch me with a paradise. Now we're standing here looking in the mirror like. I'm strong, but know that they're strong. Yeah. Hook is kind of so full. Listen. Don't tell him much, just tell him never give up. Sometimes you're fed up. Sometimes too much is never enough. Got too many. The song is boring to me. It doesn't have anything to make me excited about it. It feels like uh, 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 Jaheem and Fabulous from like 2005. It's not terrible. You might get some girls that, you know, wrap their heads with a scarf that might like this. But I just don't feel like the large majority of the audience is going to find this appealing after about 90 seconds where I'm at right now. It kind of feels like a skip. What do y'all think? I'm just looking for the next you we know it. We can't relate if you've never been through it. Listen, I heard him say you never know. I think that I'm convinced. It ain't about a thing. You better get it how you live. Hit one if you're feeling the song. Hit two if you're not feeling the song. We'll go to the next one. The scene that wasn't always flying till he got his way. Too many times I saw my life just hanging by a string. And my opportunities come faster than your eyes could blink. That flight that put me on really gave me some time to think. And stress that scene, I'm feeling certified crazy. But I've been feeling like the world is my lady. Look, it's not believers out there that want me no longer breathing. All the more reason for me to do it for all to see it. So the hook is cool. It's got an Anthony Hamilton kind of feel. If y'all know Anthony Hamilton, the wide joint with JD Kiss, it's got that kind of a feel in the hook. The rapping is boring, though. The rapping to me feels like chewing bubblegum for a long time. You're just like, yeah, I don't want to chew. But what else am I doing? I'm hungry. I ain't got no food. I'm going to just chew this gum. It doesn't really offer a lot that sticks to the ribs. It really gets me excited. Drop your scores right now. That right there was Sino with uh, Maladique. I'm going to go um, probably about a 78 to 80 on that one. Really wasn't that interesting to me. Um, Ross vibes on that. Mm, not bad. Smooth joint. Drop your scores. I, I wasn't really that interested in that song. Drop your scores. He should have never went in the booth. He wasn't 100% sure about it. Yeah, I agree with you, Bream. I agree getting back to the J. Cole thing. What I think is he should have just let the diss. He should have. He could have. He could have let. I would have in his sh situation. I would have let the disses sit out there a while. I would have waited for Kendrick to respond. I would have dropped another song and then I would have did an interview praising Kendrick you know because because you can always kind of feel out okay is there going to be beef over this like if there's real beef and people start getting threatened you can easily just say hey I don't want that kind of stuff man I love Kendrick yada 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 but like you gotta let it ride let it breathe I just thought it was it was way it almost feels like he got threatened or something like I, I don't know it felt very back me into a corner I'm scared um I don't ever in my life and I tell my kids and I tell my wife I don't like operating from a place of fear because if you operate from a place of fear, you make mistakes. Never never operate from fear. I mean, you can plan for bad situations to happen. You can be ready. But you should never make your game plan based in a fearful situation. And that's what I think he did. It felt scary to me, and I don't like that. That's uncomfortable for me.
Let's get into this next one. Skywriting. Shouts to the homie Rudy G. If you ain't get a song played, a dollar two would get you popping on the super chats. So go ahead and hit that little dollar sign down there. A dollar two, man. We don't tax out here. We just need something to differentiate. Rudy G. Party going down. going down, all in the club, everybody drinking and getting fucked up, we be getting wild trying to tear shit up, we be getting wild trying to tear shit up, party going down, all in the club, everybody drinking and getting fucked up, we be getting wild trying to tear shit up, we be getting wild trying to tear shit up, party going down, all in the club, everybody drinking and getting fucked up, he did T.O., he did, we be getting wild trying to tear shit up, party going down, all in the club, everybody drinking and getting fucked up, we be getting wild trying to tear shit up, we be getting wild trying to tear shit up. Always with a drink when it comes to the party Catch me by the bar getting drunk and sloppy Always sitting brew, rep my crew Anything you can do when you paying them off And I can tell that I'm drunk cause I'm saying a lot Can't stay in one spot when the room keeps spinning Too much liquor, damn my vision Seeing double, and that can only equal trouble Party all night till the early morn I took Puba here, fuck driving home Until I slipped and fell and I broke my bone A bomb ass party, but now I'm limping home That's how it goes when you party hard, party hard And the booze keeps flowing Gotta keep it going cause it's what we about Always having fun Never out for no clout. Party going down, all in the club. Everybody drinking and getting fucked up. We be getting wild trying to tear shit up. We be getting wild trying to tear shit up. Party going down, all in the club. Everybody drinking and getting fucked up. We be getting wild trying to tear shit up. We be getting wild trying to tear shit up. Party going down, all in the club. Everybody drink. So I grew up in the Chicago land area, just like Rudy G. And um, there's a station called B96. They play a lot of Top 40, but they used to play a lot of dance and electro pop type stuff. And this would have been a song B96 would have played when I was a kid. Um, I don't mind this. It's it's kind of like purposely corny, it feels like. I also feels like it's kind of like a dance vibe for like kids at a skate at a skating rink. I think this song definitely has a, a crowd, but I think it's a youthful cocaine driven crowd. Drinking and getting fucked up. We be getting wild trying to Dream likes it. We be getting wild trying to take That's the homie Pre. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to TO as well, man. Appreciate y'all. Getting fucked up. We be getting wild trying to take shit up. We be getting wild trying to take shit up. Got me all faded, stumbling drunk, but I want another drink, mix up random stuff. I feel like Alright Prem, I'll play it out since you like it, bro. Cause I can sip till the sunrise, unlike some guys with drones on their face. Always go hard when I'm in the place Headed to the bar looking for an open space Order three shots and I down them with a chase Really no winners in this motherfucking race Just keep the beat bumping and the boom and the bass Shorty rock your hips, wanna see it move your waist Looking so good that you can't be replaced Uh, once again, doing my thing Puddled in the corner, smoked up all of my green But only for the night, got more up my sleeve Everything I do, do it all with some ease Party going down, all in the club Everybody drinking and getting fucked up We be getting wild trying to tear shit I can see this being on a soundtrack Party going down of like the hangover five or something and getting fucked up we be getting wild trying to tear shit up we be getting wild trying to tear shit up party going down all in the club we're gonna move on from that right there that was rudy g party going down it's a four minute and five second song rudy no one needs that song for four minutes no one needs it he lost me with the pop part yeah you know so it wasn't it wasn't a terrible song it's a little corny to me it's a little like intentionally goofy but I enjoyed it, man. I, I would have listened to that song for about a minute without changing it. So was it terrible? Like I said, I think most of the people that are going to listen to that song are going to be 17 and probably users of cocaine. Um, I, I, you know, but, but, but it's not terrible. Big shouts. Drop your scores right there. I'm going to go 83. It wasn't terrible. You know, party going down. It had, like, had kind of like a groove to it. I mean, some of the things he was saying were, were reasonably, uh, reasonably memorable. Drop your scores right there for Rudy G. I didn't mind it. I'm going 83. I saw this uh, yesterday, and how many of y'all ate Lunchables as a kid? So I, I, I read a lot of stuff on the Internet. I don't read books, but I read a lot of articles. I, I, like, I'm fascinated by a lot of things. And they've discovered that cancers of all different sorts are popping up at younger and younger ages. They're finding cancers at 35 and 40 now. Stage four type stuff for young people. You know, some of y'all may remember Chad, Chadwick Boseman. He's 42 when he passed away from uh, colon cancer. So, so it's happening more and more, and doctors have no idea why. This might be part of it. The USDA has been urged to remove Lunchables from school menus. So they ran some tests on Lunchables 
and found out they contain high levels of lead, cadmium, and sodium. I believe cadmium is actually in like nuclear weapons too. Um, additionally, the group discovered that the Lunchable kits served in schools have even higher levels of sodium. And they do pack these things for sodium. So if we're wondering why like people are getting cancers younger and younger, because we all ate these as kids. I used to have my kids eat these. We stopped buying them. But come on, man. This stuff is depressing. And, 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 and seeing that cancer's on the rise and then seeing articles like this, it's like, Jesus, they've been killing us for years. Let's get into this next one. Sorry, Axe, that you have to go on after such a such a downtrodden message. But uh, shouts to the boy Axe. He's got a great ear. He's a dope producer, engineer, and um, artisan of music. This right here is Blue Cheese, our homie Axe. Sounds perfect, Axe. This actually sounds really good. Beat smelling funky like blue cheese, smoking on the skunk. Guys droopier than Snoopy's. At the movies with a cutie, dinner had sushi. How you doing, Solo? She a foodie. With the ladies, always been choosy. A little snooty wouldn't catch me with a hoochie. I was in Japan, train from Tokyo to Zushi on the Shinkansen, bound for Yamaguchi. Raising two kids, family man, not Stewie. Legend of me, been collecting all. Raising two kids, family man, not Stewie. The rupees, 38 years, Honda Pilot, no hoopty. Listen to the beat, jot it down on some. I ain't mad at you, ex. My tune's a little loony, extra, extra, go and ask you a newsy Drums and guitar plus the beat loop fruity Blend it all up in your ears like a smoothie Chops, blend it like a smoothie Key for the cats and dogs, like a loogie like Chewy, tangier than pooty, sound extra groovy Hey, why is he killing it? For the cats and dogs I deliver like Chewy? Axe with the bars, bro, I ain't mad at that, man we spitting like a loogie for the cats and dogs. I deliver like I got you, Panda. Than booty. Sound extra groovy. Axe on the track, then it's bound to be a doozy. Doozy. Jay likes it. I like it too. My boy Axe with the Inspector Gadget flow. I ain't mad at it, bro. Go, go, Gadget flow. That's gooey wabbit. That's that's gooey wabbit. That's that's gooey wabbit. I ain't mad at this at all, Axe. Oh, well. Belushi bars? Oh, man, Axe got the bars out with this one. Cream's at a 75 with it. I'm, I'm at an 86 with it. I'm at an 86 to 88. I thought the rapping was actually pretty cool, Axe, because it fit the track. You styled your vocals in a way that it would fit. The, you couldn't have rapped on that song in any other way. I don't think it made it sound really good. A stretch 80. I, I'm at an 86 to 88. I thought the beat was real funky. I thought the way you rapped on it was super clever. The bars were there. I call it Inspector Gadget flow because it didn't sound like a, a it, it didn't wasn't a traditional flow, but it was like yeah, sitting in the trap, smelling funky like blue cheese. I don't know. It just had this kind of overexposed kind of kind of sound to it that it really really worked well. 
That's our man Axe right there. Drop your scores. Axe has a wonderful musical ear, man. I love when he joins the shows because he always gives the the best feedback of the uh, of the uh, lots of aspects of the track. I just saw it as a K-pop singer and songwriter. Park Borum died at thirty. A lot of them K-pop folks die early, man. I I don't know that that whole K-pop thing out there is problematic, man. Um, I I've heard of that happening a lot, and I don't love it. Let's get into this next one from the homie Josh. So Josh, my boy, if you send me stuff, please don't send it with Apple Music. I use Google Chrome. I use Google Chrome for this show, and I can't open my Apple Music in Chrome anymore. I don't know why. I don't know what the the problem is. Let's go help people customize it. But uh, if you can send me like the YouTube link, or send me a Spotify link, or anything other than Apple, because Apple be playing games in my life. This is Athena from the homie Josh with Shantira Marie. If you're waiting to get a song played, a dollar to it, get you groovy, man. Never mind. Hit the super duper. When you have auto glass damage, trust safe. Appreciate y'all rocking with us. Hello to the new members, man. Glad to have y'all. It's okay. We'll pull over. He wouldn't take his car just anywhere. So he brought it to I agree with I agree with Sam. I think the delivery fit as well, Axe. I think the delivery fit as well. We was so good, let's resume it. Maybe on the Hit that like button one time for your boy. Appreciate you. Maybe on the night we can prove it. Yeah. yeah. You saying we can prove it. But how though? I mean, how so? After everything that happened, man, I feel at peace, but I feel so weak. Maybe it's the pain or the pressure, or maybe that it's just that I'm in too deep. I'm falling off my feet. Hear my voice on the track from my heart when it beat. I don't know if I can do it. I'ma power through, cause it's what I gotta do for you. You wanna try again? You saying? Hey, Josh, you gotta add more umph to your voice and you have to make your lines a little bit more dynamic listen to the way you're rapping this is like it, it's really slow and it's weirdly paced if i can do it i'm a power through because it's what i gotta do i'm a power through because it's what i gotta do i rap like me and you pika 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 pikachu scooby dooby 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 doo you know what i mean like it's just real slow and stagnant like it's no rhythm to it for you you want to try again you saying you saying you keep saying don't call me that. I don't think you're ready for that life. Man, Athena, you my type. I know you want to be my wife, but we having issues. You have to add a little bit more rhythm and flow because you're talking slowly, but we're having issues. And then we walked up the stairs, but nobody really cared. Did you dare to see me, me see, you see? It's just like these two, it's these two word kind of like bars. It's really odd for me. I don't know how anybody else. Y'all tell me how you feel about it. It's just hard for me to listen to. You can't wipe it with a tissue. Even when you say you hate me. I know that I miss you. And, and you lucky in my mind, baby girl, you so fine. I turn your water into wine. I'm not evil, I'm just kind. Hit my line when you free. Maybe we can work it out. So on this one, I thought the beat was cool. I thought the I thought the hook was cool. Maybe on the night we can prove it. Maybe on the night. Now now I gotta tell you, I like the the beat you made on this one. This was cool. This felt really right. I just think you got to be more comfortable. If you're going to do the talk, the conversational flow, I don't think anything's wrong with that. But what I think you should do is you got to add some rhythm to it. Your your um flow sounds like someone with perfect posture. Like hip hop isn't about standing straight up with your shoulders back and your chest high. and your, You know what I mean? That, that's not what hip hop is like. Swag. Hip hop is, hip -hop is in the cut. Hip hop is low, the low hat. Hip hop is like is swag. 
And I just feel like you, you and I know this maybe not be it. This might not be like a rap song per se, but you still are just lacking some swagger. I need I need you to take the protractor out of your pocket a little bit. You know what I mean? Like swag it out a little bit. Find some find some groove. Find some rhythm. Um. Yeah, I, I don't I don't run my stream on high latency. Yeah, Prem, you're right. I am behind because uh, I I I do I do uh excuse me I do higher latency and not super low latency because the super low latency slows everything down. So I apologize on that. So I'm gonna go on that one. I'm gonna probably go about seventy three on that one for the homie um Josh. I thought the 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 um uh, hook was cool. I thought that the um. The hook was cool. I thought that the beat was cool. I just thought that you couldn't find your place as far as pacing and space on it. Drop your scores right there for the homie Josh. Let's get into this next one in just a moment from King Ruiz. I wanted to show you this because I didn't know about this until I saw this post. Again, this is on the Internet, so you can't take everything you see, uh, you know, for 100 percent. But this looks pretty cool. If these projects are actually happening, this would be good for the U.S. So they're building a bunch of high speed train projects across the U.S. that are set to revolutionize travel, connecting major cities faster and more sustainably. The initiatives aim to reduce the reliance on cars and planes, offering travelers convenient alternatives and improving transportation infrastructure nationwide. So Southern California to Vegas. It usually takes about four and a half hours, under two hours with this new train they're developing. I live in Arizona, so hopefully there's an Arizona to Vegas when me and the wife will be on that joint. Charlotte to Atlanta, under two hours from four. So I think this is awesome. And I think in order to create more jobs and more infrastructure stability within this country, we should be leaning on more things like that. We, I love the Asian culture, and they have all sorts of bullet trains out there that we need to do. Uh, Portland to Seattle, Vancouver. So the last one was Charlotte to Atlanta. Portland to Seattle, Vancouver. Under all of these are under two hours. Cutting travel time from two to three hours every time is fantastic. Los Angeles to San Francisco. If you live in the uh, Bay Area, getting down to San Francisco under three hours, you cut that down from three to four hours. So these things are incredible, and it should help out with the infrastructure of the country. I love that we're trying to be smart. I like a lot of the things that the Biden administration has done, but we won't get too far into politics. Let's get into this next one. My brother, King Ruiz, when sparks fly. Play the dollar to it, get you doing the super chat. You know what it is. I remember watching sparks fly, infatuating hard eyes. I turned so red, I nearly caught fire. Never thought we would have crossed sides. Love's a battlefield, I'm caught up in the crossfire. I couldn't see it, I was cross eyed. The lost kid, the day I finally grew up was the day I lost size. Oh, very 90s R&B. No more, done being capsized. I've tried to ask God with no reply. Maybe I should have been baptized. Yeah. Now all the lines blurred and all the times hurt. I made you break ish with the delivery. Next. State. Never, what up, bro? Came the bullet and roulette. He said the weapon stay tucked. I still became the bullet and roulette. That's crazy. Agreed, solo. Agreed. It's got a uh uh like an early Big Sean. It's got a Drakeish delivery where you have that open ended kind of like you just kind of let the lyrics run off the page at the end. I like I like it though. It's a good it's a good effect if you know how to use it. This is like interlude music. How we doing? Never. What's up, boy? This 
kind of reminds me of the Chicago freestyle with uh, Drake and um, I believe it was Giveon. Um, it has that kind of a feel to it, you know, that that like with that soft R&B vocal, you know, and it's kind of airy and spacey. We had a zero on that day since an accident sign. It's also got a G-Eazy. His delivery has a G-Eazy sound on this one. Till the day when that static arrived, that black magic soul snatching little devil inside. She popped out and said a spit back and cook. And I could have gave a better response, but a kid got a couple of flaws. I just hate being wrong. Now my final chance is gone, so I put it in a song. I just hope you sing along. I like this one, Ruiz. This is a good song. It feels like an interlude, though. So maybe I can sleep again if I can seep it in. The hurtful truth without collapsing in the deep again. Deep again. The visualizer is fantastic. I'm really sorry. I'm hoping that we can speak again. That right there was the homie King Ruiz when Sparky fly. I want to say it's supposed to be when Sparks fly. I think he posted it with the wrong, uh, with the wrong uh, thing up there. But yeah, I'm gonna drop this in the chat for y'all. That's the homie Ruiz. I thought that's a pretty good song. It feels to me like a G Easy Drake influence. Um, it's got that, like I said, that Giveon kind of sound on the hook where it's like R&B-ish, but it's like drippy. Um, I enjoyed it, man. I enjoyed it. I'm going to go uh, I'm gonna go 88 on that one. Drop your scores right there. King Ruiz. Uh, we're going to get into this Never joint. Shouts to Never. I, I, I love Never. I call him a goat, man. He's like he's like a rock star, bro. Every time I see this cat, I'm just like, dude, you are from the wrong area. You could have been in the 80s, man. Like, the dude just looks like he smashes guitars and like, you know. But he also seems like the nicest human being too. But the but the rock star look is legit. Big shout out to my man Never. Love when he makes music. This is Steezy AP Never and Cupid. This is fact. Look at my man Never on the screen right here. The rock star himself. Big shout out to Ruiz. Good work, bro. <laughs> Downtown last night, nigga, I was faded. Hopped on the beat like. Oh, snap. I closed the song. What am I on? Sorry, folks. <laughs> My bad. I don't know what just happened. I hit the button by accident. Bring it from the top, far boy. Never. I was grooving so much, I hit the wrong button. I do like the build up on this. <laughs> Downtown last night, nigga, I was faded. Hopped on the beat like Mike Will made it. Two white like girls. Mike like, Will. They told me quit doing drugs and I didn't. Tell her I slide, just give me a minute. Bitch from the UK, pay me a visit. Smoking up an ad like came from the trenches. I can't fuck with that little bitch. Blue bills on me like Lil Love Stitch. Come back to the hood if you snitch. I just slide through the matrix on them like glitch. 50 bad bitches in the section, we was two turns. California came smoking on my niggas too burn. If she look good, then I'ma pursue her. For that bitch, then I send her home to the Uber, bitch. Bitch, she's a bye bye A. I'ma break her eight gate, my guy A. I was in the city for real, yeah. I was paying face like tie dye A. We had pain on peas in the city for a nigga. We were moving like five guys. So say I was painting faces like tie dye. Hey. She look good, then I'ma pursue her for that bit. Then I send her home through Uber, bitch. Bitch, it's a bye bye A. I'ma break her eight gate, my guy A. I was in the city for real, yeah. This beat is crazy. Like tie dye A. We had in the city for a nigga, we were moving like five guys. Hey, say few need a grass. Man, they got a fat ass. Don't touch your toes, touch your grass. Orange out the coop like crash. New coop give me whiplash. Zooming through the city 200 on the dash. This is dope, though. I'm a wife her, hey. I'm a robber, nigga, swiper, hey. Chop it, hit him in the belly. Now I'm a robber, nigga, swiper, hey. <laughs> now that nigga need a diaper, hey. Huggies came up selling them nuggies. Cause he had nigga I rock. Selling them Slip. nuggies. Saw baby sipping what bitch hungry. Uh, selling them nuggies. I been filling up my belly. Hey, I been filling up my pockets. Hey, I be pulling up to Houston. Hey, I be chilling with the Rockies. Hey, three times three, that's nothing. Stay on me. We playing major key. Yeah. He said three times three, that thing is stay on me. That's the nine, fellas. To 
a club, ain't pay no fee, we stay in major list Your hoe wanna play with me, these broke niggas, they anger me I stay close to my vanity, pop and start off a tragedy Like, I'ma hop in your dreams like Freddy One eye open, I'm feeling like Fetty Stepping on, make the noise spaghetti Cool on me, yeah, She texting me, I'm like, never you ready I buy my guac lunch, Bob, yo, I'm ready yeah. I make him sit like it's Wuhan Yo, bitch be hanging with niggas on Mulan, hey I just woke up, yeah. I just my throat, so I sold a hold up. Ten toes down, nigga, I cannot fold up. Riding with gang, all them niggas, I'm sold. Skating through the pussy like my name, Cole Chris. Get your money up, Chris. bitch. Catch me in the whip, smoking cookie, no Chris. Hold it to the show with a rocket like cookie. Huh. Yeah, rock out, rock out. He pulled his Glock out and I pulled my cock out. When we at the show, his little bitch better watch out. We might just aim for your neck and your this sound like a uh, Migos type flow on this one. Yo, top down. They told me quit been drinking, I did it. Only had a beer, little bitch, I ain't finished. Slotted with a mop on your block like Grimace. Take a 30 shots, but I'm not. Slotted with a mop on your block like Grimace. That's cold. Oh, did it. Ha. Which way? That way. Got off I 30, then I hit the interstate. Only got green and some chips on my dinner plate. Big, big Migos influence on this one. look juicy. I call her my Minute Maid. So you know you're gonna have to come clean. Shorty look juicy, call her my minute mate, gross. Start the whip, hit the gas, and I speed away. I don't freestyle, my style ain't free today. OT and never. I could go for a, a, a OT and never joint. That's a cool song, man. That's one of the ones you put on when you have girls over the house. That's that's a, that's a song you put on that chicks are like, I think. You know what I mean? Because it's got that kind of like, kind of juke on them in the back corners. Kind of, it's a little menacing. A lot of the lines in the song are really funny. It's not to be taken too seriously. Uh, I like that. I'm talking T.I. O.T.S. people know. I like that, man. That was a good song. I don't. That That's definitely a playlist joint for a party. That's a party playlist song for sure. Druggy vibes, you know, uh, in the middle of. It's, it's almost got like some dank mosh pit vibes about it, too. I don't know. I like it a lot. I'm going 90 on that one. Big shout out to the homie Never. Definitely a playlist type joint. Love would never drop soft new music. Never. Where you at with your music, man? You dropping a project or something? What's, what's happening, man? I need some never music to listen to, man. Put me on game. Let's get into this next one. We're we moving through the list uh, at breakneck speed. If you're waiting to get a dollar, if you're waiting to get a song played a dollar till it get you through. This right here is Court Lee. So I was using threads. I don't know how many of y'all use threads, but I found some new some new artists on there and this is a uh, technical this is message. court lee this is called loves a, loves a walk in demand skills with us I, I liked it man i liked it a lot this because I, it, so, it sounds it's so well done musically the pace of it her voice is so soft it's got like a, um, a orchestra my, my background I played the oboe as a kid I was a nerd I was in band for a while I love so I love music period this sounds like a it sounds like a wedding dance I would put this on my wedding playlist for a dance I don't know how to waltz but it feels like it feel I'm assuming this is like time to a waltz I, I don't know I like the I heard it I was like this is beautiful I had to play that for y'all, man. I enjoyed that immensely. It's just so upbeat and happy and positive and lovely. She's got like, a, I don't know, she reminds me of an older singer, like an Alanis Morris set. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. I like her voice so much, though. I will say I love you. 
It's so warm. It's so full. It's such a beautiful sound. That right there is Court Lee loves the walls. I love that. I'm going 95. I love that, man. That makes me like, I don't know, it cheers me up, puts me in a good mood, makes me want to go do, do some laundry, clean the house, do better things for myself. I want to show you this real quick, man. Um, Shouts to Tesla. I don't really, Elon Musk is a very, very fascinating person to me. Uh, I, I watch a lot of his interviews and what he says because I think he's intelligent. He just doesn't have very good table manners. Um, so Tesla's full self-driving feature saved a man's life. On April 1st, Happy Fool's Day, Max Paul Franklin faced severe dehydration and dangerously high blood glucose levels due to a malfunctioning insulin pump activated the Tesla self-driving and it saved his life. The car autonomously drove him 13 miles to a Virginia emergency room, navigating and parking itself without human assistance. So Max had a mild heart attack, but he was able to get to the hospital and get and get saved. Man, it's crazy. And he lived. Shouts to Tesla. I mean, we talk about AI on this show a lot. Automation. This man is alive and he can still exercise. He didn't have to change his life. And he had a mild heart attack, and he lived, and he can go on and do what he wants to do. That's super dope. Shouts Tesla. I don't have any stock or a Tesla, but if y'all want to send me one, that's what's up. 100 Fetty V songs. Another find on threads right here. Let's check them out. Need to replace Monkey with Chewy Auto Ship? Get it delivered again. They forcing a lot of ads on me tonight. I don't want the ads. Got a couple songs left for tonight. Good night of music so far. I didn't expect to have such good songs. Tonight, let's get into this. These songs, 100 Fetty. 100 Fetty? Cobra. Hey, woo! Mowgli. What up, baby? Yes, baby, I am far from what you need. You're not the only one that agrees. I went so lost speed. I didn't realize there was somebody rapping on this. All I hear is this little talking in the background like this. I don't know what this dude is saying, but I, this doesn't sound terrible. Fuck with you no more, being blind now. All the things I did to keep you happy, you wanna run now. All the things I did to keep you up, you wanna fall out. I just don't know what he's talking about. Make sure that you speak the truth next time we talk it out. Hey, that you leaving, but you look so good walking out. Now that I'm thinking, I don't think we even fucking up. One better than all, I don't know what the cause was. Honey, we not speaking when before I didn't call. This is an interesting way to to present your art. I, I think it's going to be hard to, for anybody to actually know what you're saying or talking about and know who you are. But just like as, as, as some background noise, this isn't terrible. I just think if you're trying to grow as an artist off of this, I don't know how people are going to know anything about you through your music because there's you give us nothing here. We can't hear you. I don't know if anybody else can hear what he, I can't hear a word that this person is saying. feel like this is music for uh people who do uh, uh syrup and percocets things things that slow you down and kind of make you wobbly if this feels like that kind of music it also has traces of the early weekend if you know house of balloons and early weekend songs they some of them kind of sounded like this there was these songs hunting fitty i i don't mind that my only problem is i don't know how you grow a fan base with songs like that 
because I think it's very difficult to hear what you're saying. And like, if people don't understand what you're saying, how can they learn more about you and, and grow with you as an artist? I would, with that being said, I would want to listen to more of that. That wasn't bad. I feel like it was actually mixed pretty well for what you did with the, with the kind of drowned it out vocal where it's kind of sleepy. It almost feels like I'm talking to my wife half sleep at night. Like, Hey man, did you lock the door? <laughs> you know, so it, it, it doesn't really have a lot of audible quality for, for the lyrics. But it definitely has a cool sound kind of kind of vibe to it. Uh, kind of you kind of float on it a little bit. It's not terrible. I'm actually gonna go 84 on that one. Drop your scores right there uh, for that joint from the homie that was uh, 150. These songs. This right here is Dead Breed. Pray for sleep. We got one more song after that from the homie Panda Bass and Enigma Trick. Drop a dollar or two if you're looking to get a song played before I get out of here. I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy tonight. This is Pray for Sleep. Dead Breed. He said, I killed the Reaper and he gave me knuckles. <laughs> no game plan suffices. He might not want to break your huddle. Rose from the rubble. That's not my story, but it's more of a description. Key and the ignition, bitch, I'm still driven. This systematic pressure. They're looking for a pass like they just fought the professor. But you get in sock like the top drawer of my dresser. It's like pulling the leave on guillotines. I wasn't voted likely to succeed. Still get it by enemies. Pulling the leave on guillotines. Yeah, Solo, uh, I am indeed watching that. I, I watched the first couple. I got to get, I, I think it's like six of them up there now. So I'm probably going to catch up on that tonight and tomorrow. But yeah, so far it's fantastic. They did such a good job. I love the fact that Magneto's running running the group now. That's crazy. Walking fever dream, consider this a paddle. Upstream, there's only one of me. Still ought to be all of the metagame. It's not a guinea suit, just a pound of weed. Profound set. I got bills too. Reached in your pockets and I found rent. Fuck your feelings. Reached in your pockets. Like a punch and I found rent. Wings keep you grounded like punishment for stealing. So step in my shoes and have a field day. So and so got so bodies. So got yeah, it's all hearsay. I do Set too. Call so up my dogs. I got let it straight. Less bread, I gotta break. I'm putting on weight. Bad, bad news. He never hibernates. So over here, you buy chain, you raise the stakes. Don't need your location. I'm waiting outside of your mama's place. Thought I was pussy, you paying like. Hey, this dude is a spitter, too. He reminds me of Dom Kennedy. Um, bars are heavy, very, very slow, but confident with it. Very, very exact and precise on the delivery. I like what he's doing a lot. It's the first date, your life missing along with the car that was in your driveway. Uh, so I mean, OG, if you think about it, though, Wolverine lived for hundreds of years. So he probably started experimenting. I mean, say it ain't so for sure, but if you think about it, Wolverine lived a lot of lives, man. How the fuck you catch a Z's when those ends wide awake? Yeah. I heard death coming three. Thanks for dropping in, OMG. Face. OG ain't. Yeah. I said I combined your name, o o G OMG. Appreciate you sliding through, OG. Big love, bro. I see you dropping new music. You need to send me that stuff, man. And if God gave you knees, it must be so you could pray. Uh, yeah, but why I got two middle fingers if they not for display? That was pretty solid, man. That's dead breed right there. I like that a lot. I'm going to go 92 right there. Pay for sleep. Real, real kind of unsettling vibes with the piano keys. He's rapping kind of hard. It's almost got a demonic feel in some places because of some of the overdubs he does. But I like the delivery. Like I said, it felt like Dom Kennedy to me. Dom Kennedy to me. Um, it was a good song, man. I liked it a lot. Drop your scores. Yeah, Morph is like pansexual, I think. And, I, and, and he definitely had feelings. Uh, I got a couple more songs. That's dope. I will definitely play this. I got Dusha and Boss, and I got the homie Solo. I will play both of those right after this next track from Panda Bass. Shouts to my bro Panda. If he's still here, we're going we're gonna to play it even if he's not here. But this is Enigma Trick, 
Banzo 9, Panda Bass, Enigma Trick. Panda Bass Records, Trick. Banzo 9 rule book. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, this is for y'all and them demons. Ooh. Had a vision about you, cuz oh. Told me the street game, man. He told me what was really, really happening out here in the streets, man. And it was all just a vision, but you know, we're gonna have to tell these things what's going on. Ah. Panda Who boy, why so mean? Block of your roster, a king. Butterfly float, be sting. Play thing when a hotline bling. Tell her no photo, this site solo. Phone to the tell to the fight bowl. Tell her no photo, this site solo. Phone to the tell to the fight bowl. Who boy, why so mean? But a flight float be sting. Play thing when I outline bling. Tell her no photo, this site solo. Phone to the tell to the fight bowl. Tell her no photo, this site solo. Phone to the tell to the fight bowl. On my soul, this I know, this I. Decide no, on my soul, on my soul. Decide no, decide, decide, decide no. On my soul, decide. I am a huge fan of Enigma Trick, and I'm a huge fan of Panda Bass, but Enigma Trick does not work on this song. This should have been a noetic joint. This should have been one of them soft crooning noetic joints. Uh, Enigma, you don't fit on this, bro. No disrespect, cause you're a great artist. I love what you do, but this ain't it. This I solo, phone to the tell to the five o. On my soul, this I know, this I. Especially this right here, I hate this. I don't like this. This I know, this I, this I know. On my soul, this I know. I don't like that. This I know, they watching on the low, thinking they can catch a nigga like hell no, hell no. We got some magic in here. Blink then your man disappear. Why is you quick in the fit? Cause we trading blood for a tear. Bands on our set, man, you ready? Get me that chopper that heavy. You have to be willing to press. FMG pull it the best. Get the mob, but no leaving, no mess. So Kuna Matata, no worries, no stress. Kuna Matata. Favors, fits and behaviors, putting these niggas to rest. Hey, catch them on this in the set, just step on their neck. I just be glad than threats. Do as I told you, not as I sold you. You can be better than killers and soldiers. Got a knee on my God. What on your shoulders? Watch for the vultures. It's crazy because I don't think Enigma really fits this song, but he's still doing a great job rapping over it, creating a vibe to it, creating kind of a bounce. What do y'all think? Does he fit on this? Am I tripping or is this or is this is this hard? Body will body persuasive. Give your location, ten niggas waiting, kissing you up by your arm on them bass. In the dip of that pussy you chasing. Now you know about the book. And they ain't no rules for a crook. Rude boy, why so mean? Block of your roster king. Butterfly float be steam. Play thing when I hotline bling. Tell her no photo, this site solo. Phone to the tell to the five o. Tell her no photo, this site solo. Phone to the tell to the five o. On my soul, this I know, this I, this I know. On my soul, this I know, this I, this I, this I know. On my soul, this I know, this I, this I know. They watching on the low, thinking they can catch a nigga like hell no, hell no. That's on nine, shop. Bad. I just I didn't really see the direction. I didn't really hear what I didn't really understand what he was talking about. It felt all over the place, and he just didn't fit on a track like this. I know Noetics music. The, Enigma is best at upbeat kind of war anthem songs. Enigma has like DMX in his soul to me. There's like a like a dog in Enigma when I hear him rap. It doesn't fit on this to me. This like breezy starry kind of ding 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 like it, it, it he, he just didn't fit i also didn't really know what he was talking about with that being said i still don't think it sounded bad i i would still listen to this in the car with no problem especially with a chick but it just for me it doesn't accept it doesn't accentuate what he does best this kind of beat isn't really for him i agree with that uh 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 omg marvel has been terrible since in game has ended. I do, I, I do like, I will go watch the uh, current joint to the X Men 97. The OG Spider Man show is the best, the best Spider Man joint out there. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a score off with this one. I'll, I'm gonna go 83, I think 84. It sounded good. I don't really know what he was talking about, and I like so much of Enigma Tricks music. That was just more a song that Noetic should have been doing some really soulful singing on. And I kind of wish I'd have got that instead. Let's get into R.I.P. Lux right here, Edge Runners. After that, we got the homie Solo for the Nash joining tonight, man. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. Showing love every Saturday, man. Or Friday like we are tonight. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Mr. Buzz Killer. You 
little flies get stepped on with stack house fillers. Back with Silas and Jackie O's, get my feet up on a Dutch Villa in the hills next to Hillary. So I'm not loving this because I can't hear you as clearly. There's a deep kind of in the beat, and that's drowning you out a bit, uh, Lux. I wish you were turned up a little bit more because your delivery is kind of dope. Back with Silas and Jackie you remind me of a guy from the 305 named Shoddy. Shoddy is a super dope rapper. You have the same kind of cadence that he does, and I like it. Jackie O's kick my feet up on a Dutch Villa. Villa in the hills next to Hillary and Bill. Sipping on Russian. Always, brother. You know what it is, Panda. Number love. Big Cushillish on Rockefeller Plaza hounding propaganda dealers. Wait. Eastern Block. At Rockefeller Plaza hounding propaganda dealers. Wait. I like that. He seeking heat in his plots. Out here you either feed the beast or feed the clock. No in between. Street team, come from Legionnaire cloth, it's on season. Come from Legionnaire cloth. You know, I'm stop the kids so vicious. Woke up with a chilling premonition, just hitching and get back out on the road. Left the breakfast on the stove, threw the keys inside a cold ignition. Spinning holy script, just sundown. We rainmakers like Johnny Quish. Yeah, a ghost in the shell. Ain't hard to tell, like Sail a Chem Trail, Chef of Red Dales, guns bang from bricks and yeah, uh, Lux, I would probably go ahead and make sure your vocals have to be prominent because this beat is dope, but it's drowning you out. You have a really, really slick delivery that I think that really, really should be should be accentuated. My man P. Louis in the building. What's up with you, my brother? Uh, my top five rappers of all time. I'll do that really quickly. Uh, let me do it after the song so my man can get his play on. Intertwined like wine and sand expands flying in the attics. Barbarian Slavic, who became a Caesar to unite the East and Western savage on a higher cinematic. This earth was once lavish, now it's cursed, left for satanic, stripping cheap blood on beat is just on a loop. Rabbits, force feeding maggots in the dead of summer. Fuck a did nothing changed. Only with edge runners now. The Sadie showdown for you, LA Clippers. Mercedes low profiles, this golden child got more rhymes than Milton. That right there was Rip Lux, R.I.P. Lux, Ed Edge Runners. I want your vocals to be brighter. I do. I agree with X. Um, we got to change the the beat. Something's got to be different. It's just the loop. It's just loop the same way through. Uh, Rick Ross, one through five. Dylan, Dylan, appreciate you, Solo. Uh, so I don't mind that. I like that song, uh, uh, Lux. It feels kind of grimy. It feels like you might get shanked. It feels like a dude walking around with a shiv, waiting for somebody to say something stupid. Uh, so I like that about it. It feels slick. The, the bars were delivered slick. Definitely got to have a better mix on it. And the beat has to be a little bit more intriguing. It was kind of plain. Over and all, though, I like your delivery. I would want to hear more from you. I think I'm going to go 82. Nah, yeah, 82 sounds about right. The mix was really bad. You, you I Maybe y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. I couldn't hear a lot of it. Uh, going into my top five, I would say uh, my favorite rapper of all time is Jay-Z. So I would take Jay at the one spot. Two, I would go Wayne. Three, I would probably go for my own personal affinity, probably Jada Kiss, which is probably much higher than most people's. But I love Jada. Like, I love Jada. I love Jada. Uh, four would probably be. So actually, three would probably. So one would be Jay. Two would be Wayne. Three would be Kiss. Four would probably be Nas. And five will probably be. Let's see. I want to say Eminem because I have a I have a huge huge affection for Eminem's music, but he aged so badly. It's so hard to put him in there because he aged so terribly. But for what he did to the game, like I just. And then after I, I so I might go five Eminem slash uh slash Yay. Uh, because Kanye is an all-time artist for me too, and then after that, I would probably go. Um, I would probably throw Fifty up there because I love Fifty too. Shouts to Cola, she's in the building. We're gonna be playing a Cola joint here if we if we didn't already play it here shortly. Uh, let me make sure I played that because that song was nice. Let me go find it. Uh, so yeah, that's my top five. What what do y'all think? Where are you guys? Is uh, where are you at with that? I um. I, Cole, Cole was on his way till he did this nonsense. I, I I I was heavy. I was trending upwards with Cole for a long time until he started being silly. So he decided to hurt my feelings and let me realize that hip hop isn't what it should be anymore.
Uh, let's get into this one right here. Uh, we're gonna get the solo joint, and then Cola is gonna wrap us wrap us up for tonight. I'm glad she stopped in here. Great to have you. Welcome to the show. Um, we do <laughs> music reviews. If you couldn't have figured that out, let's get into this right now. My man Solo. Just, just download it. What are we doing? What's going on here, computer? Can I download it? Well, this is boring. All right. Solo right here. Reality shows. turn that down just a little that's sharp on my ears it's a little too it's a little too pitched up but it sounds good the beat is nice i don't know what you're saying i hear like this is the so i hear some of it i just don't hear it super clearly but i like the beat for the best see is the worst because everybody cursed that we're in the mess the devil from the past but you leave the audience so you can watch it hey appreciate you rudy cash a tool for the mass takes camera action now that is your ass your kids too Generational wealth, what is there to do? Separation of health, actor and actress, a pastor or patris, have no correlation. I like the breathy rapping you're doing. It sounds like it's really on beat. It sounds sharp. I just can't hear it as well because you're rapping like this and when I this. It's got this breathiness to it that I, that doesn't break through the beat, and that's the problem, but it doesn't sound bad. With my feelings if I practice, let reality sink in, let it sink in. Right there, our man Solo. I actually like what you did on that, bro. I just want to be able to hear it a little clearer. That that's the strings. That was too. That was that was too loud. You just got to turn those down a little bit. Let your voice shine. You have such a breathy kind of like atmosphere. I want to hear that better and hear what you're saying because I think you got some content, some potency behind that, but you don't have it coming through clearly. So uh, I, I didn't think that was bad at all, though. I'm going to go 80 for what it is right now just because I couldn't hear it clearly. If I could hear that with a better mix, it's probably an 85, 87, 88. That's not bad at all. Drop your scores right there for Solo. We're going to wrap this one up right now with the homie Cola B. Shouts to Cola for joining us tonight. want to welcome everybody who joined us new tonight. Big shouts to Rudy. I'm glad you appreciate the show. Nothing but love. I, so Shogun, I, I've seen Shogun. I need to watch that, huh? Uh, Yeah, great, great having everybody that joined us tonight. Shay Left was here tonight. King Prem joined us. Uh, we had the homie T.O. in the building. I believe it was his first time here. Through. Appreciate all the newbies coming through. Shout out to x Raider, Fatal Dose. All the gang was here tonight. My homie Solo's been here all night. My homie Pan has been here. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. I usually do the show on Saturday nights. So from here on out, it will probably be Saturday unless I tell you. But send me your music anytime, man. Anytime. I am always available to check it out. I prefer to check it out on this show because it gives content for me and for you because I repost a lot of this stuff. 
But if you just want me to check something out, I don't mind doing that either, man. Just hit me up in the ESMR email. Pleased to have you guys here tonight. The last song of the night is the homie Cola B, Coffee in the Morning. I woke up, got out, legs stretching out my arms, move her head. Beautiful voice, beautiful. So to birds are singing, it's gonna be a beautiful day out here. Head to the kitchen, with a smile on my face, can't wait to start the day. Oh yeah. A beautiful song, man. Before I do anything. My saving grace Oh yeah Call me in the morning It's a ritual I can't ignore Sitting on the chapel Living my life to the store Harder than the creed Higher than the subtraction It's amazing how she is staying in such a high register so effortlessly like to sing it like like she's entering a really really high falsetto type she's going she's climbing pretty high and she's and she's comfortable that's dope that's just the way I like. coffee in the morning shout out to everybody rocking with us tonight man big shout out to x raider x what up boy louis OG AMG oh, Young Swish Money Mowgli Never Stretching out my arms over here Josh, what up? Oh yeah Sun is shining Birds are singing It's gonna be a good What up Moon Rocks? What up Garrett? Yeah, what up Fatal? Kitchen With a smile on my face Can't wait to start the day Oh yeah That's beautiful man Coffee in the morning It's a ritual I can't ignore Man, you got a beautiful voice, Cole. Big shout out to that voice. That's 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 great. That's a great voice, man. song man i'm gonna send that to my, my my daughters i think man that's something they might like i can say hey this lady was in my live stream last week beautiful song cola i'm gonna go 96 on that man that's beautiful and i feel like i can play that in safe spaces i'm a big fan of music i can play in places around my children i'm with my kids a lot <laughs> so so sometimes when you have music you can actually enjoy and listen to with your kids it's a huge huge benefit uh, beautiful way to start the day right there. Feels great. Energy was nice. Vocal was clean, consistent, high with no problems, man. No strain. Beautiful night of music, man. I'm out of here. I'll see y'all next week. Saturday nights are the usual. Maybe I'll sprinkle in some Friday shows for my man Solo so we can get him out here. Appreciate y'all showing love to me every week, man. Thanks for showing me your music and hanging out tonight. I'll see you next week. ESMR hour is now closed. I'll see you next Saturday. Peace.